Hey guys, today we are going to talk about MetaZoo. What else could we be talking about? MetaZoo and Alpha Investments. Uh, MetaZoo is not going to the moon. I am sorry that I would have to break your news, right? Uh, in my opinion, MetaZoo is going to... I mean, it's already so close to zero. I don't know how close you're going to get. It's $26 a box. Um, it is not going well for MetaZoo. And even a box as strong as Native, which Alpha Investment has definitely promoted quite a bit, is not doing as well as it should be doing or as well as I think he hopes it would be doing. As it too is dropping below $80 a box right now. Now, Hello Kitty, it's interesting. Hello Kitty is an interesting set, but it, basically it's what MetaZoo does best. It loses value and then it rebounds slightly and people get really excited, but like you're still down 50% or more depending on what you paid for the box. That's not really, in my opinion, something to get uh, very excited about. I think that's actually kind of shameful, right? Hey, we're going to the moon. And it's like, no, 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 guys, you're not going to the moon. The reason that it looks a little bit better is because it's so damn low, my guys. It's so damn low that you can't even, I mean, it, it's so low that how much lower can it get, guys? Like, seriously, how much lower? And the fact that it is not at zero is not a accomplishment at all in fact i think it is actually maybe a little bit deceiving right um the rebound what what do you say even a dead fish rebounds or something like that like it's a dead fish or oh no it's a dead cat bounce or something like that in marketing um yeah that was basically uh the situation at hand is we have a interesting scenario and it is basically like this was a terrible terrible investment i don't think anyone can argue that it was a good investment to make on any of these metazoo products long term or even short term even flipping them unless you flip them the day that you receive them it still looks very very ugly the other part that i will be quite frank and honest with you on this is metazoo uh, there, there is no game store in America right now who can carry a product that they pay seventy dollars for that then within a week or two drops below seventy dollars. Game stores are not in the business of losing money. Um, I can point blank tell you this: they're not in the business of losing money. They gotta buy something. You look at the Hello Kitty, right? Fifty six, sixty dollars. I saw as low as fifty dollars one time. You're in the business of buying something and trying to sell it to your customer and a happy customer at that, right? Um, you want these boxes to go up. These boxes at 47 or 39 or we're going to see boxes at 31 or 26 or UFO, I think, is around 26 as well. These are toxic assets. So game, imagine you're a game store. You pay $70, maybe even more for this, and now it's $26 and you have a whole bunch of wilderness stuck in your closet and your inventory, you cannot last. Um, this is my biggest concern about this is UFO. I mean, it's not even just one set. So talk. You can talk shit about what you want about Wizard of the Coast and stuff, but it's one set, okay? It is one set. Dragon Maze, it is, you know, like they have really bad car sets sometimes, but typically they are solo. You're not going to get set after set after set after set, right? Outside of Cryptid First Edition, which is their version of Alpha, right? Alpha First Edition. That kind of makes sense why it's a little bit more. Um, I don't get, like, you know, what else is over the $100 mark? It's not native. Uh, no matter how much Alpha Investment tells you it is native, it is not native. Um, I just don't think and... I, I don't believe that there is a great future in investment. Now, if you like the game, you like cryptids, this might be great for you. Uh, to be quite honest, this is probably amazing for you because you get to buy cards that you really want for for nothing, um, for nothing at all. And uh, that's definitely um, great. When you look at the eBay auctions right now, 
You can buy PSA 10. You can be, buy any of these cards. Uh, MetaZoo, PSA 10. You can buy any of these cards for less money. They're, they're starting bid. Oh, okay, PSA 10, Gem Mint, Rudy, Big Harry Step UFO. Promo card, it's uh, 99 cents. Starting bid, 99 cents, right? MetaZoo, Kickstarter. Let me go to completed and see what these things are selling for. Because I think it's unfair to MetaZoo for me to take a non-completed auction. Okay, no exact match is found. MetaZoo PSA 10, no exact match is found. How is that possible? There's got to be some type of MetaZoo. All right, let's just take a look at completed, completed items. Sold items. Okay, we'll take a look at sold items. We won't do PSA 10. We'll just do MetaZoo. Okay, so January 7th, MetaZoo TCG Bigfoot, Cryptid Nation Edition, Kickstarter Reverse Hollow, number not four, PSA 9 for $22, just slightly above the grading. MetaZoo TCG, Def Beam Cryptid Nation, Kickstarter Hollow, PSA 9, 38. Oh, here's a good one. I've heard of this one. The Jersey Devil Cryptid Nation Hollow, number two, PSA 9, $36. Here you have a 2021 MetaZoo Kickstarter Mothman. Uh, these are from Vintage TCG, Tai, Oleko, Zero, Johto. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You have a first edition PSA 10 2021 MetaZoo Nightfall Righteous Reckoning Hollow and it sold for $15.50. That's like not even the price of being graded. Here's another one, the exact same card that sold for 16. It's not even worth getting graded, in my opinion. Um, and that's how you know it's bad. Uh, here is Nightfall Windigo. Yeah, the Windigo at 41 PSA 10. I mean, these are PSA 10s, right? Like, what are the PSA 9s selling for? Here, here's Mothman. Nightfall First Edition Mothman is $38. Uh, 41, 41, 31. Here's another Bigfoot Hollow at $25, $16 for the Loveland Frogman. These are incredible buy prices, to be quite honest with you. Oh, here's Karami, uh, for $25, best offer accepted. My Melody. You know, I might be interested in buying up these cards. Um, I don't really know how cheap. I mean, <laughs> here's another, here's another one. The PSA 10. Um, first edition Dragon of Onko Falls, eighteen dollars for a PSA ten. It's like their blue eyes white dragon. I think I don't know. It's a pretty cool looking dragon. Um, and these are I think these are great. I mean I'm assuming they're grading their valuable cards, and um, you're seeing the prices, and they're not expensive at all. You know these are graded cards. Even the non graded cards are like seven bucks. Buy it now, and and so on. 2020 MetaZoo Cryptid Nation first edition Kickstarter full Hollow Man PSA 10 free out of 159 uh, for $910. I think this is their version of the Black Lotus. I think that's their version of the Charizard first edition. I mean, if you can get a Charizard first edition for $910, I mean, hell, let's do it. Um, maybe I should contact these dudes. There's like, there's only like a few dudes. Anyway, bye guys.